All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Heroes of Might Magic 3. So this is the song for the father campaign and this is the third of three scenarios. This one's called for king and country. This is the final scenario of the whole uh, restoration of Rathia campaign. There is one more secret one, but this is the officially the final one. So to win, you must capture all enemy towns and castles and defeat all enemy heroes without losing either Queen Catherine or Lord Hart. This is the final battle. Good luck. Your starting bonus choices are between a Helm of Heavenly Enlightenment, Tomb of Earth Magic, or Spellbinder's Hat. So I, I underlined both of those just because if you got Dimension Door in the last campaign, sorry, in the last uh, scenario, then you should take Helm of Heavenly Enlightenment. But if you didn't, then you should take the Spellbinder's Hat because uh, Dimension Door is pretty important on this map and Spellbinder's Hat will give you all of the 5th level spells. So that includes Dimension Door, which we need on this map and the heroes will not transfer over since it's the final scenario. So we start with three towns, A1, a tower town, A2, a castle town, and A3, a rampart town. The enemy has two towns, O1 and O2, and they're pretty built up, like almost maximum. This is what the underground looks like. Uh, I didn't really use it all that much, but there is an underground if you decide to prolong this map. So we can beat this map in pretty much the first week. So what you want to do is you want to give your main hero the Spellbinder's Hat if you didn't get Dimension Door and you want to teleport around with one of the heroes that has the Town Portal and bring your main hero all the troops and hire a couple heroes and give their troops to your main hero and then you want to follow the purple path you can Dimension Door from the tower there because it's all around across the ground and you can Dimension Door right past the garrison and you can attack O1 which is pretty lightly defended. Once you've done that, you can pretty much just Dimension Door from the south of O1 and Dimension Door over the mountain and attack O2 right away. And that's pretty much it, you're done. Uh, this map is pretty anticlimactic, very easy. And yeah, so you're done the Restoration of campaign. There's a secret campaign that you can get. Once you finish this, you can reload your last save and the secret campaign will be available to you in the screen. What remains of my father's undead army is the necropolis where he resides. His last legions of undead are significant. I will join this difficult battle, but you will command the field. There is one more order you must follow without question. Lord Hart must not die. He is our traitor. We have confirmed the information the necromancers gave to us. Lord Hart was part of King Vilmar's necromantic cult. With Lord Hart's access to Stedwick, poisoning King Griffinhart's food was a simple task. Acting on orders from King Vilmar, he sought to avenge the banishment of the necromancers from Arathia. I have special plans for Lord Hart. The city containing the tomb of King Griffinhart, along with the city where the king currently has his throne, are the targets of this attack. Both cities must fall, or we shall never be able to unseat the king from his throne. Alright, so... <clears throat> looks like we got everyone. Yeah. We also got uh, Mr. Trader himself, Lord Hart. Giving us extra gold with his uh, states. The artifact to transfer over. Uh, she's got this helmet. Give that to someone more useful. Alright, so, well, who has the best stats? This guy's got some pretty good stats, honestly. We'll use Gunner. Seems the, he seems like the best. So he's where? Where are you, Gunner? Right here, near all these artifacts as well, huh? Okay. Who's this? Catherine, Lord Hart. So we're gonna rush the enemy. Okay. 
a lot of units here. Let's go ahead and do this. So we'll have him grab her units. I'll mostly be leaving Lord Hart and uh, Queen Catherine just hanging around so they don't die. Let's upgrade all these units. Buy Ballista. Let's recruit some troops as well. I think we'll, I think we'll pass on the four Crusaders. It's not, it's not enough to really warrant me recruiting them. And then we'll give her everything. Including the Ballista. Have this guy do some random stuff. Have her, Queen Catherine, deliver this stuff to him. We get 29-18. This ballista will do some good damage with those stats. And that. I'm gonna ditch these units, I think. Don't need this army. We don't have any towns from this. Uh, in this army, so kind of useless. Alright, you can just hang around. Shakti, he only got 30, huh? Not even like a potential 90, that's kind of lame. It's fine, that should be enough. That's Papar. Who's this? Cutthroat. Alright, let's have him. What else do I have from that faction? Caitlyn as well. We'll have her teleport to Alexandrada. Oh, this is that town. This is the town that had the angels in it, the neutral town. It's weird, it's like upgraded now and uh, looks different. And upgrade all these. Give them all to Gunner. Let's have Cuthbert do it. Where is he? There he is. It's Mage Shield 5 here. Grandel's. And Cuthbert, Cuthbert, there you are. Now we will upgrade this. Or that. We can also uh, recruit a hero. Upgrade all her stuff as well. Like that. I have her transfer the units. Uh, like this. We'll leave. Her with the griffin. And you bring these units to. Damn it, Catherine, get out of the way. That's fine. Bring all these units to Gunner. Leave her with the griffin. Shakti. Caitlin can have the units from what was this mage guild? Mage guild three. Alright, I'll give Caitlin the units from the Rampart Town. And she can just start clearing some stuff, but we don't really even need to. Because I think Gunner can finish this like on the first week. Oh we don't have any gold. Okay, just wait. Actually, this should, <coughs> this should be enough to clear some stuff for magic's power. Alright, so much mana points. Let's go over here. Clear this. Um, Shakti, we'll get the troops from this town. Who's this? Genova. She really doesn't have that many spell points. She's kind of not useful right now.
fucking garage are these. Leave them in the base. Use the tower to pick stuff up. Pick that up, I guess. Uh, you. Grab some of these units. Just use this guy to clear all this out. It's dry and dead, but I just need to get rid of his undead units. Alright, Mr. Gunner, it's all on you now. Several, we can handle that. Grab those artifacts, they'll be useful. Okay, maybe let's. They're fast though, they're gonna get across, so we need to block our archers in so they don't kill them all. Should be good. So only 200 points of damage, they have no perfect. Perfect. And then this guy, much damage. We'll kill them. This will kill them though. Okay. We need one of those artifacts. Or we don't need one of them, I mean. We don't need this one. Alright, so you. Probably best teleport here. Here, cast supply. It's kind of need more mana points, really. The reason I'm grabbing this stuff is because it's on the way, but I'm gonna go up here to their city right away. And do we need town halls? No. Let's just end our turn. All right, Catherine can you just go to sleep inside the town. These guys to cut for. He has 180 spell points, he can clear some stuff. Like that. Real quick, destroying dead. Easy peasy. Caitlin, same thing. Nah. We got this. I think the AI should really calculate our uh, immense magical power. Alright, so we want to go up here. With uh, Mr. Gunner. How far can we fly? How far we can fly? He doesn't really have that much mana. So we're already almost out, but he can pretty much make it up here. And then you can refill in their town. Their town is pretty much built up. There's one here and then one up here. Really don't need to do any of this. We'll just like cut for it, handle everything. Send turn. He's got some stuff. He's got some stuff for sure. Caitlyn. I wonder if she would be better to be used. I'm not sure if this is on. She has a lot more magic and a lot more spell power. Actually, no, he has a lot more spell power because of all the artifacts. I didn't make uh didn't make some stacks to block my archers. Easy. Easy. Let's go ahead and uh do a resurrection on you. Good, no losses. So that's one town, pretty fully built up. Like fully, fully, fully built up. Besides the shipyard. The units. Nah, probably not. Some skeletons. Zombies. Two whites. So we'll wait here. We replenish our spell points. Let's go see what's in here. 
probably can't afford any of it. I can't actually afford that. I think I already have some boots though, right? Yeah. Alright, we'll just uh, end our turn. Cast fly. So with Dimension Door you can just fly into the fog. I, I had Dimension Door in the first attempt I did this. But this attempt I do not have Dimension Door. Ew. Pretty good artifact. You don't want to get stuck in here, because you can't cast stuff in here. I've had that happen before, where you can't cast stuff in there because of the cursed ground, so you can't escape. This is a pretty good artifact. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll fly from here, go around here. There's another garrison here we can eventually get through. I think we can get enough vision there, unless we can't, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Alright, we can. Okay, good. And that is the end, pretty much. Unless they have a hero running around in the underground. Resurrection on you. So I'm sure if those archers will shoot again. Oh, my ballista will go. Oh no, okay, good. And now, it's got another full town here. Yeah. So, yeah, let's just wait in the town. We'll have to come up. There he is. Just to defend. Get everyone to sleep. Let him come to us. He'll be forced to come to us or run out of time. Let's get around here. Right here. Let's teleport it back there. To be able to defend it. Who had the second half? Largest army. I think we'll just send Caitlyn up there, she has strong magic. She'll be able to handle it. Nope, not here. Mythos. Might, Mystos. Mystos. Something. Let's recruit some units. Oh, we have so much gold already. Get rid of these units. So we remove that negative. Moral penalty. Anything else to build? I guess we could build a castle. That would help. This is my hero. Straker. Destroy undead. Purple zeros have abandoned him and he is banished from this land. Congratulations, all your enemies have been defeated. Victory is yours. Alright, so I think there's a cutscene. emphasized my duty to the kingdom and my duty to justice. Today, I did both by delivering to my father, Lord Hart, the traitor who poisoned him and imprisoned his soul in an undead corpse. When I came to Arathia, it was to mourn a great king and a loving father. Your enemies have waged war to prevent me from seeing you one last time. I have driven them from the land. They
they will not disturb your eternal slumber ever again. Great victories and great tragedies have marked the Griffinheart history. Your death brings an end to the Restoration War and the Griffinheart lineage. I will miss you dearly, Father, and think of you often. Rest in peace. Alright, that was a pretty cool cutscene, honestly. Let's see. Where do we rank? At the bottom, of course. Alright guys, so that's the end of that one. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.